Hi everyone, welcome. If you're working on Python projects and whether you're just starting out or building something complex, whether you're new to Python or whether you have been creating Python projects and programs for quite some time, you must have heard about virtual environments. Now let's see what virtual environments are. Imagine that you're working on multiple different Python projects, which depend on multiple different libraries. And many a times it happens that one project requires one specific version of a library and other project requires some other specific version of that library. Now, if you keep installing packages and removing packages every time you need to run a new project, then it can become very messy. That's exactly where virtual environments comes into picture. Virtual environments can create separate isolated setups or separate isolated environments with dedicated packages installed for those separate projects. Consider I have two different projects which requires two different versions of Raspberry or two different versions of OpenCV, for example. Then I can create different virtual environments having one specific version of OpenCV installed for one and another one for another environment. So that creates a completely different isolation for each project and it gives you that environment, that frozen environment for that specific project which you have been working on. Now, if there are multiple such libraries and dependencies on one specific version of those libraries, then virtual environment will give you a clean working environment for that project without disturbing the rest of your Python installation. And you can create as many virtual environments as you want for different Python projects. Now, in this video, we're going to see how you can install the virtual environment for your Python environment or your Python setup and how to use them. Now, I know this gets confusing for many on specifically on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I'm going to do this video from the beginning, from when we install Python, how do we run PIP on Python, that's the package installer, and how to make sure that the PIP works on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and then how to install virtual environments. Now, let me just quickly go to a browser window, and let me go to python.org. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to download Python for Windows and then I'm going to install it. Now that Python is downloaded, I'll simply start installing Python. Please make sure the steps are followed correctly. Even if you have Python installed on your computer and if you're trying to install virtual environments and there are some errors, completely removing Python and starting with these steps will eliminate all your errors. Okay. So what you need to do first is don't do install now. Just do not do that. Go to customize installation. Before that, let's use, use admin privileges. Use click check mark this add python exe dot python dot exe to path and then go to customize installation here make sure all the check marks are ticked okay everything should be ticked including this pip that's the package manager for python then click on next install python for all users this is very important you can keep the rest of the options unchecked but this is important install python for all users and then click on install. Now this will install Python on your computer and then we can follow the steps that we have listed in our presentation. Let me just have my presentation open at one side of the screen, zoomed in. Now as you can see, the Python setup is now successful we can head over to install the virtual environment and try out these commands. So let me close this Python message and then let's open a command prompt to install virtual environment library or virtual environment from PIP. Now this step is very crucial. If you are on Windows 10 or Windows 11, do not open command prompt directly. Always when you're trying to run PIP install commands, open command prompt as administrator. Always run as administrator for command prompt. 
Otherwise, what happens is the PIP packages are installed in user specific location, which are different than what we have in the system path. So you may install those, but they will not run. I can also give you a demo right here. Okay. Let me just use CMD and I'll open command prompt. Now I need to install PIP install virtual environment. So I'll just type PIP install virtual environment. Now what it does is it will install it. Okay. This is installed. But now if you can see the warning, the script virtual env is installed in C users, username, app data, roaming, Python, Python 313 scripts, which is not on path. Now, because of that, what will happen is if you try to run virtual environment command, I'll just try to see the version of it. It will say virtual env is not recognized as internal or external command. And this is a reason for frustration for thousands of people. So please make sure, let me first uninstall this installation. Please make sure that you open command prompt as administrator, always without fail. Now let me close this command prompt. Now let me open command prompt this time. I would like to run it as administrator. Now run it as administrator and now install the package for virtual environments. Let me type PIP install virtual env. Successfully installed virtual environment as you can see. Now next what we need to do is we need to create our virtual environment. You can also just see if your virtual environment is successfully installed or not. So I'll just type virtual env hyphen hyphen version. It just displays the version. As you can see, this time virtual environment is installed in the default Python location and not in the users and app data and those things. It picked that package downloaded from here, but it is installed in the default location. That's what we want. Now go on to create a virtual environment. So virtual env, my env, this is the command for it. This virtual environment is now created. Now you need to activate this virtual environment. To do that, simply type my env backslash scripts s capital and activate. Now this activates your virtual environment. You can see the virtual environment name or my env over here in this parenthesis. Now you are into your virtual environment. Whatever you install, whatever you create here will be specific to this virtual environment called my env. And you can run your Python programs based on that. Let me install something. So let me install this uh, package requests, PIP install requests. And this is installed in my env this will be installed in my env virtual environment this will not be installed in the python installation or location let me install another library let me install flask this is the popular web server library and now you can use any specific package commands as well for your particular virtual environment now let's see how much or what all we have in this virtual environment using the command pip list. Now here you can see some default packages are there. Then there is flask you can see which we just installed. Then you can see requests which we just installed. If you remove it now, so pip uninstall flask for example, then it will uninstall flask from your virtual environment. Again, do PIP list and you will see flask is removed. Now simply deactivate the virtual environment with the command deactivate. And now let me try PIP list here. Now you can see requests is not here. Request is not present here. And even if I install something now, so even if I install flask now, this is being installed in the global location. Okay, This is not installed for your virtual environment. So this will show up over here 
but this will not show up in your virtual environment. Flask is installed. Let me do PIP list and you can see Flask over here. But now if I activate my virtual environment, this is my environment. And now if I do PIP list, you can see I don't have Flask over here. So this is how you can install your virtual environment and create virtual environments and then install any packages into it. Please make sure that you are using the command prompt as administrator whenever you are doing any kind of installations or package installations using pip. Thanks for watching this video.